Yeah. Well, welcome back, everybody, here to this edition of the NVP Show. I'm your host, Dilville Piano. And so we're going on here to our second topic of the day. And we're going to talk about, obviously, the New York Giants, as you can tell from my wonderful Christmas hat that I've had for quite a long time now. But it's kind of hard for me to want to do a rant at this point in the season because now the, now the Giants have about three games left in a year. They're 2-11, and 11, so they're clearly going absolutely nowhere. They finally fired their coach, Ben McAdoo, and their GM, Jerry Reese. So I don't have to rant about that. But the one thing that I can rant about that pisses me off is that Eli Apple, the cornerback from, for the Giants who was drafted last year out of Ohio State, he was benched for last week's loss to the Dallas Cowboys at home, and he actually tweeted out about the Cowboys and cheering them on. Think about that. You're playing for the New York Giants, and you're sitting on the sidelines, and you're tweeting about cheering on the other team that you're facing in the game. This just proves that this entire you know, situation has been a massive chaos. And it's just, it's mind-boggling to me that some of, these, some of the players on this team are still on this team. I think whoever comes in as a new GM and new head coach, I think their main focus should be to try to take control of this whole situation and get everybody to have Giants pride. I remember listening to former New York Giants linebacker Carl Banks on the radio, and he was saying that what the Giants lack right now is pride. They don't have any pride. The, the Giants pride that everybody's known for a very long time. And he's absolutely right. There is no doubt about this, that... The Giants, they, they have no motivation, and it's understandable when you only have two wins and you have 11 losses to understand that you have no motivation, but the Giants still have three games left in the year. If they could somehow win you know, all three of them, or at least two out of three, and finish with three, four, or five victories, that could give them some amount of confidence and some amount of momentum going into next offseason. So really, at this point in the year, it should be, if, you're head, if your interim head coach, Steve Spagnola, to motivate your team to get yourself prepared. You're taking on the Eagles this week. Excuse me. Then you're going to Arizona in a game you probably should easily win. And then you finish the year at home against the Redskins on New Year's Eve. You really, really should make it apparent that you can win all three of these games. If you're Spagnola, you've got to say to your team, hey, look, we got three winnable games here. Let's go out and get it done. Let's show our fans that we did not give up on this season and we're going to fight to the last minute. If you can do that, you could show Giants fans that you care a little bit. Then that gives them hope. It gives people who want to possibly take the jobs as GM as well as head coach motivation and say, hey, you know what? I want to take this job. I want to be the difference in this organization moving forward. And that's what you got to say. So the bottom line is that just looking at the whole situation for the New York Giants is that they lack pride and they need to fix that. They need to fix that in order to get things going. They could do that. They should be in really good shape. But going back to Eli Apple, he's a guy that was a wasted draft pick by the Giants. I mean, the guy, you spend your first round pick on a guy that has barely done anything since he got in the league. Jerry Reese, this is just, you know, Eli Apple just gives Jerry Reese another one of the many excuses why he should, Jerry Reese should have been fired. And thank God he was fired, but it was way too late. It's way too late in the season, way too late in this term. I mean, think about it, 10 years and you only make the playoffs three times. Granted, you went to the Super Bowl two of those three years, but still, you gotta build some consistency and that's what Jerry Reese didn't do. Ben McAdoo was just a puppet who thought he was God's gift to coaching, who thought he was the smartest man in the room and he clearly didn't know how to run an offense. It, and I guarantee you that the reason that he was so popular when the Giants hired him was because Aaron Rodgers, who was his quarterback when Ben McAdoo was the offensive coordinator at Green Bay, was playing. Aaron Rodgers made him look good. And then he comes here, first year as the offensive coordinator, the Giants offense is clicking. His two is almost two years as the head coach of the Giants. The offense is the possibly the worst. It's worse than the Browns. That's how bad this offense is. And that's the problem with the whole situation. So for the Giants moving forward, all they can focus on at this point is let's finish the season on a high note. Got three games that they can win. Three games that they can win, and they can finish the year 5-11, which would be a huge, a huge opportunity for them to gain some momentum going into the 2018 offseason. So the bottom line is this. 
get it going, get some pride back into this organization, and get yourself prepared for the next year. Because if you don't, then the rebuild of this Giants organization is just going to take that much longer. And Giants fans are going to get much more restless, much more fast, much more quickly than they would before. So we shall see what happens in the next couple of weeks, and we shall go from there. I want to take our next commercial break, but when we come back, there's a few other topics I want to get through today, so I hope you guys stick around and tune into that. So we'll see when we get back here on the MVP show.